Well, how are we getting on? So, at the end of July, I took my drone out for a flight for the first time in probably three weeks because I had been traveling around Iran for the three weeks previous. So it was the first time I took it out. I was really excited because it's been a while since I flew it. I brought it down to the beach and I powered it on and all of a sudden the gimbal started violently hitting up and down, up and down, off the, off the top. It was making a, a really, really strong click noise. Then I would get aircraft motor overload error, followed by gimbal obstructed. I didn't know what to do, I was really scratching my head. I was googling all over the internet then while I was sitting on the beach with my phone and my drone. Didn't happen for me that day, so I went home and I emailed DJI support. I got a, I got a reply very quickly the following day from RC from DJI. He pretty much told me that I would have to send it to DJI for repair and he, he created an online repair case and he sent me a link in the email. I asked RC at whose expense would the repair be. I assumed the drone was still under warranty as I had only bought it six months prior to that. He pretty much says it kind of depends on what's wrong with the drone etc. So when they check it I will either receive a quote and I can say yes or no. Anyway UPS sent me a shipping label. I printed that out. I packaged up the drone with a box that I had lying around the house with some bubble wrap I had also lying around the house. And lo and behold two days later UPS came to the front door and collected the box. No charge. I tracked the drone's progress online as it travelled from Ireland to the Netherlands. About two weeks after this had all began, I got an email from DJI saying, after testing and diagnosing your product, DJI will provide you with a free repair service. The repair is expected to be finished within two to three working days. Then the product will be sent back to you. Thank you for choosing DJI. A few more days pass and UPS delivers the drone back to my front door. I open the package, take out the drone and bring it for a flight. No problems whatsoever. I did have to link the controller back to the drone, but apart from that, it was all good. Overall, my experience with DJI has been absolutely fantastic, but I do understand that if the gimbal is obstructed or you're getting a motor overload error, you do have to get in touch with DJI and send it back to them. Thank you very much for watching the video. My name is Lee Murray. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, comment down below with your feedback. Tell me about your experiences with DJI and if you've had any trouble with your drone, your DJI Mavic Pro or whatever drone you have. And of course, subscribe to the channel. See you real soon. Good luck.